Hello everyone, I am MS Gill, and it's really hot in my room right now. It's 101 degrees outside, probably about 85 in here. Yeah, kind of uh, on the warm side, especially for this for the northern part of the country in which I live. Um, but anyway, welcome to this tutorial about uh, how to install Windows Chicago Build 73. And instead of supplying you with the ISO file, I am going to give you the virtual hard disk. And uh, I will show you how to use that. It's just much easier than using the, uh, the ISO because using the ISO is just a bit difficult. It, it, installing it from ISO it is just a pain. And so I decided to do it the easy way and just apply this. It's 2.75 gigabytes. Um, so it's a little bit on the heavy side, but uh, that's all the space you'll need for that. Um, I'll compress it using 7-zip, which I'll supply a 7-zip uh, link in the description. It's completely free, easy to use, no viruses. All right, so you start by clicking New, and now you type in, you know, whatever you want, Chicago uh, 73. By the way, the reason my typing is so slow is because I type with one hand while I record because I have to hold my microphone in the other. Um, I should probably get a, rec a microphone stand, but... Oh well, money, eh, it's always a problem sometimes. Um, anyway, so you go to Windows 95 and you click Next. Go ahead and put it up to 256 megabytes or less. Um, then you click Next and then you click this little radio button right there. And then you click this and you find where you saved it, where you downloaded it, and extracted it. Uh, click Open. Now you click Create. It should just appear right there. You just click Start. And uh, this is probably about my fifth time recording this because for some reason uh, my recording is screwed up a few times. But uh, in Chicago, we'll sometimes screw up, um, which I am always in the comments to help people out with things like this. Um, but uh, let's see how this one goes. I hope it goes pretty uneventful. Um, so if it gets stuck, I know this already. Just click the rest restart button by clicking Control Delete. Don't actually go up and click um, Reset. Don't do that because they'll just screw everything up. Um, click Control Delete or go to File or whatever it is. Um, the uh, don't actually click the Insert Control Delete thing because it. Uh, well, it, did I say don't? Do it because it will work that way too. Um, so here we are in build 73 and if it gives you a login prompt with MS Gill on it you can change that username to whatever. I changed it to Trump earlier when I was testing this out and it worked just fine. Um, so welcome to build 73. There isn't really much except recycle.bin which I find somewhat amusing. Um, you got your quote unquote start button. Um, taskbar which is also down here. No faults detected. Um, and you got these, and that will show any open window, which will open it up. Um, and there's this, about Chicago. So, build four. It will say it's licensed to me. I apologize for that. I haven't been able to figure out how to change that. Um, because I don't know where the settings are on this thing, but what's a little bit of a thing in there? Um, it will have all these open. They're just things like, um, things that were hidden in the the files um, so like this it's an AVI file um, but since you can't install the um, the color drivers it's kind of bad colors um, so yeah this is Chicago build 73 and um, I, uh, I kind of want to take a moment to discuss my channel and what's coming up um, I have over 80 subscribers now, and this channel is growing strong. One weekend, I had over 10 subscribers just right there, including a big one uh, who I kind of drew inspiration from. His name is Everything Epan. If you haven't heard of him, go check him out. He's a lot like what I do, uh, virtual box tutorials and the such. Um, he also does some gaming. But also, the fact that I just reached, you know, 80 subscribers, which may seem to some, like, you know, minuscule, it's a lot to me. I never thought I'd even make it to, you know, 50 or so. Um, 
I will do a hundred subscriber special. Um, still trying to figure out what that is. Um, my guess is it's probably going to be uh, installing MS DOS six point two two with actual physical floppy disks. Um, I may cut parts of that out because it's probably going to take a long time if you know anything about floppy disks. Um, and uh, unless I can figure out how to, you know, put videos up more than fifteen minutes because still haven't figured that part out yet. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I, you know, August twenty third, I believe, is Windows NT four point zero's birthday. I plan on doing a video about that, which is also the same day that Windows XP turns fifteen, which will be in the same video. Um, so those are plans out towards the future. Um, since summer is coming up and I'm getting out of school and stuff, I uh, I'm planning on doing more videos. Um, however, I will be getting a job, so that might hinder some of that. But um, I uh, I plan on you know engaging more with YouTube, and I always you know try to reply to comments, and I always read every comment I receive, because um, I just I feel like you guys are the reason why I'm doing YouTube, and so therefore I want to interact with you as much as possible. Um, so yeah. That, that's kind of the state of YouTube for me. Um, people have been really nice to each other in the comments, which I really approve of. I've only had to break up one little thing, and it wasn't much. So I'm very happy to say that uh, that everything's, you know, everything's pretty much under control. It's all working just fine. Um, you guys are a great community. Um, I'm getting more subscribers all the time. I get all sorts of compliments on, video on my videos, which I think is just great. And I've been rambling on for about seven minutes now, so I think I might just cut this video here. And you can see the change of background. Um, so, yeah, uh, this has been MS Gill. And if you want to get to my computer, I just remembered this. If you want to get to my computer, just go to, like, I don't know, this. And then click, you know, view, toolbar. Just click the up arrow. And then you go you toolbar up arrow then you're here magic and if you want to close something you can either click here like on windows 3.1 double click double click double click alrighty so I'm MS Gill I've been rambling for way too long um, if you like this video please leave a like um, subscribe if you're new or if you're feeling really generous um, leave a comment if you got any questions or concerns um, any Future suggestions, I suppose. Uh, that that would be much appreciated, too. I will be kicking off my historical, or my, my Windows history videos. I think I figured out how I'm going to do that. So, uh, yeah, this is MS Gill, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.